Right. So I, on my thing, it was like up at the top left. Are you seeing now? <laughs> welcome, everyone. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, welcome, everyone, <laughs> um, to the IPFS Docs repo uh, weekly sync. Today is Monday, the 2nd of March. Sounds about right. Indeed. Um, so let's just jump straight into things, I guess. Um, so one of the things I was just mentioning to Jessica uh, was uh, changes to this schedule. So the, this meeting schedule. Um, we're going to be moving until the end of the quarter. We're going to be moving to bi-weekly. So we're having this meeting here. And then next Monday, we will skip and then have another meeting on the 16th. And then the 23rd, we will skip and then have a meeting on the 30th. And that will wrap up the end of this quarter. Um, we're then, for the next quarter, going to be using a different format for this meeting in, in sense that we're not going to be having a, a, what's the word I'm looking for, synchronous, instead of asynchronous, we're going to have a sync, we're not going to have a synchronous call. Um, so we're going to have an open discussion either on the IPFS forums, so discuss.ipfs.io, or using GitHub's new discussion beta feature, um, could be a cool way to test that. Um, so we'll essentially use that platform to, to have discussions and things. And then we'll create like a weekly three minute review video, just pointing out various things that have come out, things like that. Keeping in mind, we could also have something like this once a month or something like that. If, uh, if it's requested by people or we find it useful, um, just so that people can jump on voice their concerns, have a bit of a chat, things like that. So yeah, I put the, there's a PR in the, the docs repo right now, just listing out that schedule. So I said, so we got today, which is the second next meeting will be the 16th and following that I will be the 30th. Perfect. I'm trying to link to the repo. <laughs> I will link to the repo. Cool. All right. Nope. Sounds good. Um, all right, cool. I will. Those, those are in the notes. Um, nice. You want to just run through the like usual agenda agenda? If you talk, I'll take notes. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. Um, I mean, I guess one of the things I kind of want to talk about would be, I was looking this morning, we have a couple of PRs that can actually get, just get closed off today. Uh, so let me just find my way over to uh, the Doc32. Uh, so one of the contributors, Ed, um, he's done some good changes for BitSwap and Lib P2P. Um, they've been signed there for about uh, just over a week now. Um, so I'm ready to merge those in. I'm just doing some grammar changes and some formatting things, and then that's good to go. So that can get closed off. Um, and then there is also the IPLD changes. Um, I had a discussion with River and uh, with Leon about the things that were going into here. I think I brought this up last week. Um, Essentially, there's just so many things up in the air with IPLD that it's it's kind of hard to, to write examples for that project. Um, so I've had a discussion with, with Leon over email of what we need to do. So that's going to get done in the next couple of days, which would be great. And we can close those off. Um, some more exciting news. So we've got uh, three more potential contributors that are going to be picking up bounties, which is nice. Um, I won't mention their names just until the announce themselves to the world. Um, but yeah, so that's cool. Um, getting, getting some more people on board, which is excellent. Anyone watching this video, if you want to jump on, pick up a bounty, uh, we're going to be feeding them out lots and lots over the next couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, if you f see anything of interest or if you see a bounty or if you see an issue with the hell wanted tag that you want to help out on, but it doesn't have a bounty, we can review it and go over it and see if it's something that is urgent that we need right now, essentially. Um, yeah, so just anything with help on a tag you're thinking. Yeah, yeah, essentially. Um, I was going to create, I, I played around the idea of playing, like uh, having a bounty tag, but at the same yeah. time, they do the same thing, really. It's just bounties yeah. have like a number associated with them already. Um, yeah. Whereas help wanted, if there is something out there that someone really wants to jump in on, um, just ping into the issue and then we can help out that. Cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So your army of contributors is partially these three more potential bounty hunters anything else you should know uh no as far as that's going um i did uh speak to our design people at pl to see if i can get a logo for my army of contributors um <laughs> i think that'd be quite cool yeah 
Did you uh, file an issue in the design repo? I didn't know. No, I just uh, sent a personal message, but I could if like it comes around to it, uh, we could definitely do that. I was just kind of joking around on Friday. Um, if um, I mean, it's going to be it'd be at the bottom of Agatha's list, but we might as well add it to Agatha's list. She she goes through these things where she'll you know hit a tiny bit of free space or just need some some headroom, and she'll just like make beautiful things. So you might want to. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm thinking. Yeah, get some t-shirts. That'd be cool. Send them out. I want a t-shirt. T-shirt, <laughs> stickers, flags. You know, we need to make sure that people realize it's not an actual army. I don't want like people on IPFS docs accidentally invading a country. Um, I have a flag, like a thing you can put a flagpole in that the previous owners of my house put on there, and we were thinking <laughs> about getting a flag, but we're not real patriotic, so <laughs> sort of like we're like we need a better flag and. And we had legit talked about getting like an like an IPFS flag, and that it was like that's really nerdy, but but I don't know, yeah. I I do that. You I could spread that. awareness of IPFS around, yep. you know, Colorado. It could be fun. Yep. Uh, cool. <laughs> um, that was, I guess, a short update. That was uh, everything that I've got at the moment. Okay. Um, did we, as as far as I know, we have not received did we have it have we had any new issues come up in the repos in the last week i'm gonna check that uh no really oh, we did have one i think actually and it was brought up from internal somebody at pl oh i think it may have been let's see yeah, it's oh, from Hector. So, sure. yeah, it's migration of that. I've actually already written that. So, if you scroll down, there is a PR that links to it. Um, oh, I've started to write. I'm doing the final review of that today. I'm going to send it over to Hector. Right. Um, Let's see. And then that can just get done, really, because it wasn't particularly tricky to put together. Um, it's fairly simple. But if it's being asked over and over again, the question is being asked over and over again on the forums or in other places, yeah. then it just gives everyone else somewhere to link to, which is fine. I'm just taking some notes. See the original issue here. Yeah, so that is that's issue 442, right? Uh, Migration yes, that's correct. Yeah. Repository to a different computer. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, um, when you file, when you when you um throw in PRs that close issues, um, our house policy has been using the closes number whatever so that okay. the thing automatically closes itself cool. um which which means that because otherwise and, and now i'm in the habit of like not looking back and closing issues that pr is closed because that's just sort of been like our house practice so if you do not mind throwing the closes you know, yeah closes yeah sure i mean like yeah there's a couple of like grammar checks i need to do here and i guess it doesn't really close it yet because it's not all finished ah okay yeah but, you might just well, I'd also kind of like Hector or somebody or maybe even Stephen to run over it and just make sure I'm not missing anything massive before we close the issue, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, yeah. And um, I think really if you're, if you're making a PR that doesn't close an issue, just reference it in the comments for the PR itself just so that we have sort of a GitHub paper trail so that right. we know um, when this stuff gets connected. Sweet, sweet. Um, cool. Oh, contributor guidelines and stuff. I, and I think as far as I, yeah, as far as I can tell, that's the last issue that's come up this week, right? Uh, sorry, the uh, the four four two, the one that we just mentioned. Yeah, I think. That's uh, it. Yeah, I think so. Look back. Okay. Cool, cool. And then you had some some internal IPFS team discussion about like code personas and stuff for the yes. contributor guidelines. Uh, yeah. So that. Uh, I kind of, I put that and then we got some great contributions and stuff from that. Um, everyone internally at PL was really, really happy about that. I kind of want to voice everyone's opinions and things and bring it out. So I've started putting a short blog post together, essentially bringing okay. up the discussion and then also bringing up why we need a code persona. Uh, what is the point of it? Because it's something that, you know, it's a phrase that gets thrown around quite a lot, mainly by me, because I think I invented it. I'm going to assume I did. I invented it. Um, <laughs> And yeah, I think it'd just be cool, sort of, number one, it'd be nice for, for me to actually write a blog post and sort of get my name out there and be like, hey, I'm the docs guy, you know, I also write other things um, yep. that then, you know, kind of speed up there. And yeah, and then everyone else in the community can kind of find out, oh, cool, this is what IPFS people think of 
talking examples and stuff like that. Uh, and blog posts are automatically cross-linked to the forum, so that cool. should hopefully start a forum discussion. Hopefully, nice. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Anything else that we uh, should? I can't think of anything. Everything. Well, there is, yeah, there's just one PR inside the uh, the main docs repo, but that's just for me updating the the time Bye. for the sync meeting. Cool, cool. Oh, um, when does your, does your daylight savings time start next week? Oh, I don't know. There's, there's another big discussion going on in an internal PL thing saying we should get rid of daylight savings time. Uh, yeah, we tried that in November. Yeah, and things got real weird for like a week. <laughs> but I think I think overlap between the US and Europe is something like three weeks this year. So up here, we change on the March 8th. I think. Yeah, same as in the States. Cool, okay. Uh, let's see here, Europe. Daylight time, spring 2020. March 29th. Oh, geez. All right. So I think I think there are probably powers who are better, who are who are bigger than us, who are going to decide on what the organization as a whole is going to do in this three-week period. Um, that may just be. You know, anybody who may be watching this, keep an eye on the docs repo readme because the the uh, UTC time might be in flux for a couple of weeks. Yeah, um, I see. You know what we can do? We can just put the Unix timestamp. That's what we'll do. The epoch we'll, time? Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do, <laughs> use Unix epoch because that doesn't care about anything. <laughs> yeah, but it's still, it's still what time of the day is it? Are, it's really, are we going to change it or not? And the decision in November was that we rolled all of the meetings back because most people did do a, a fall back in the autumn. Right. Um, I'm not sure if our position has changed since then. Right, okay. Yeah, in which case, yeah, uh, once we find out a decision, we can update the readme, yeah. I guess. Um, Still unclear, okay, as to how we're going to proceed. Please watch the repo. <laughs> Which is awkward, but um, but yeah, there was a little bit of flex um, within IPFS as a whole, um, and how we treated this in November. So I'm a little bit uncertain. So apologize to anybody on this call. It might be a little awkward for you. Yeah, weeks. there is a the word on the street is that certain powers in Europe are trying to get rid of daylight savings, like certain large yes. places. So maybe this time next year we won't need this discussion. Exactly. Exactly. Um, although who knows with Brexit, maybe. Ah, yeah, they're going to get their own time. England time is England time. 27 minutes before or after everyone else. <laughs> God, there are a few time zones that are on like a 30 minute offset and I don't yeah. know where they are. So there's there's some 30 minutes. I'm sure there's some places in Australia that are 15 minutes, which is yeah. strange. Yeah. There's a, so this is my favorite thing to bring up about daylight savings. There's a, a three mile drive you can do in Arizona Yes. Uh, you start in Arizona, which doesn't do daylight savings, but then you go into the uh, Navajo Reservation, I think. Uh, no, Navajo Nation, which does do daylight savings. Inside that, there's the Hopi Reservation, which doesn't. But then inside part of the Hopi Reservation, there's another what? Navajo Nation that does. So it's a three hour drive. You have to change your clock seven times. Wow. Yeah. I mean, you could just go around, but. Yeah, but what's fun in that? Okay, on that happy note, I think we can probably stop recording unless there's anything else you want to add. Uh, nope, uh, that's everything, I think. Cool, cool. cool. Feel free to stop okay. the recording at any time. And do you mind um, uploading that?